what is up everyone welcome back to my channel this morning i'm in line at dunkin donuts the ongoing beef between my jazzed up life my jazzy life and tasha marie tmr tmr from what i understand is just like look this is like my job youtube is a job and i'm gonna just comment on what i see like she doesn't call her out of her name and really derogatory things she just said that the one thing that I saw that was a problem for Jazzy that TMR said was the thing about being pregnant. But look, if you have four kids and you talk about having another one and you complain about anything not being where it should be in your life, people are going to then comment about that. Just like TMR. This is how it looked on the outside. Jazzy looked at TMR because Jazzy said her mom watches TMR too. So Jazzy and her mom look at TMR like, like a homegirl. And TMR doesn't look at it like that. She's like, I don't not like you, but this is my job. I'm just doing commentary. I'm just making a reaction like it's not that serious. And Jazzy took it way too personal. Even though it's, TMR really didn't say anything bad. Like she didn't call her any names. Like... If she thinks it's ridiculous for her to be talking about another baby, then that's what she thinks. If she puts a pillow under her shirt to convey that, then that's what she does. Like, that's not really serious. I don't think that it had to blow up the way that it did. And, I mean, I can understand Jazzy being, I guess, hurt by TMR talking about her because she thought TMR was her friend and she felt like she was betrayed by a friend. I understand you, but at the same time, you gotta be realistic, like... A real friend would tell you that type of stuff if TMR really is your friend or whatever or she was your friend or whatever then she should be able to say to you you sound ridiculous or like say you two were friends and you were hanging out and TMR comes out of the other room pillow under her shirt and she starts saying something about her looking ridiculous and you start laughing or you say something and then she says yeah that's how ridiculous you look like you wouldn't have taken it that far if it was in person right <clears throat> I can understand Jazzy probably feels a little bit humiliated, but at the end of the day, and I don't want to be cliche, but like it is the stuff that she's putting out there. The, here's, here's the facts. You're overwhelmed. You're raising four kids by yourself. You do have things in your life that you want to work on and that you want to improve, right? So it is ridiculous to talk about having another baby. That's just what it is. Do people get pregnant and have babies? And are they still blessings? Of course. But if you want to actively talk about having a baby and somebody says something, even if it is your friend, they should be able to say something to you if that's your friend. It wasn't that serious. Now, yesterday, it became a little bit more serious because yesterday, Jazzy wanted to come on and talk about how TMR... Hold on one second. Let's order this coffee. Yesterday, you have... Jasmine going off on a live right and she was saying she doesn't care about TMR Olivia from living with the web slash lives life and strong mommy Chrissy were in there and they were like oh yeah that old hag calling her names like old hag and stuff because they don't want to see it keep growing so so yesterday Jazzy life was mad because TMR said that one of Jazzy life's baby fathers baby mamas contacted TMR and gave her some inside information. Jazzy was mad that TMR entertained any of it. TMR was pretty much just taking it like almost like a news reporter like you know with some extra um evidence or extra information you know what I'm saying? Jazzy really took it super far and exposed herself. First of all you just admitted that your man that's in jail now for being a pimp was pimping out this next girl and you were watching her kids while he took her out tricking. What? And then you were mad because Philip was actually smashing her. Doesn't build your following in a positive way. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I understand the humiliation. I understand being hurt. I understand thinking that you had a friend and things like that. But at the end of the day, the situation that you're talking about is super serious. Um, sexual exploitation is not funny. It's not cute. You know, your daughters are going to have to, not have to, but they're probably going to come across this footage of you talking like this when they get older. 
and it's just so sad so at the end of the day you can get mad at whoever you want and like i said i don't really watch this lady but jazz if you're here like you can be mad and i do understand you being hurt but at the end of the day this is one thing that you really probably should have kept off the internet because it's in no way shape or form cute it's not legal it's pretty gross on that note if you made it to the end of the video you probably understand now what's going on with tmr and jazz what do you guys think go ahead and leave a comment below till next time